Hello and welcome back to Divine Harmony Tarot. I'm your girl, Goddess Masterpiece. As a matter of fact, I'm going to share this video to my main channel. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe button when y'all come in the room. All right, it's a small channel right now. Um, we're gonna get into Leo. We're gonna get into Leo. Give me a second. I just want to bring some more people over here to know I'm live. All right. No, that's not it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. All right, Leo. So I already pulled a couple of cards um, for the blockages for the week ending September 10th. We got low vibes, bad energy, all right? So low vibrational person, energy that feels dark, dense, and heavy, harboring, suffering, fear, and anger. So someone around you is giving you a low vibrational energy, right? And also it says mental prison. Someone who is trapped in their head may suffer from mental illness, self-limiting beliefs. So to me, that means there's someone around you who is not giving you the energy that you need at this time. It's someone around you who is giving you low vibrational energy. So I wanted to know about the love, no, excuse me, career. I asked about career. But this came up, jealous, once the one you're with. So we're not going to take this as love. We're going to take this as someone's jealous of your career. I want more clarification on those cards that I just pulled. And what is the situation? <clears throat> what else does Leo need to know about low vibrational people around them? All right. Wow. You're on the defense. This is two of wands. So you have options with something right now. Um, with your career, with something that you're going through, something you're doing. Yes, something is happening fast for you right now with the Eight of Wands. Boom. Something is happening, about to happen fast for you at this time, okay? You're a leader. We got the Emperor card. So you are a leader, an entrepreneur, someone who is no nonsense. We got another card that came up. All right, and then Queen of Cups. So that's interesting. The Queen of Cups is somebody that's unbiased, that doesn't make a decision. That brings me back to the Two of Wands. All right? So somebody around you knows that you have leadership qualities within you. You're a father figure. You're supposed to be um, the king of the jungle the queen of the jungle, but then they also see that you don't make a decision. You're indecisive with certain things. So you have somebody around you that is not really rooting for you in a way that you think that they should be rooting for you. How do others feel about Leo? How do others feel about Leo? We have justice, Libra energy. So this is about balance, fairness. Again, this is the unbiased card, not be not picking a side. So maybe people see that in you, that you um, are fair when it comes to, you know, your friendships. You know, Leo tends to ha be mixy in a sense because they have different friends of different walks of life. And I feel that me knowing Leo, I know a lot of Leos, I feel like they don't always see the bad. They don't always, they're not looking for the bad. They look for fun, excitement. So they don't see the bad in people. That goes back to the Queen of Cups. You know, they make a good friend because they don't pick sides with friends. But I want to know what this fakeness is because I asked about love and the fake card came up. 
someone who doesn't no, someone who isn't themselves to gain friends and popularity. They seem very nice to everyone, yet trash talks them behind their back in order to improve their social status. So for Leo, somebody you're dating, this is a blockage. You feel like they're fake. <laughs> you feel like somebody that you are in a relationship with or someone you're trying to date is fake. Can I get more clarification on the fake card? More clarification. That card popped out. We got five of wands. So that's conflict. So you've been having conflict with someone that you're in a relationship with, someone that you've been dating. Um, five of wands is about petty disagreements. Because wands are like sticks, big, big sticks. So like it's petty. It's not even a real fight. It's like um, petty arguments, petty disagreements. Um, maybe that's where the fakeness comes in. Actually, I want to know more about love. What does Leo need to know about love? What does Leo need to know about love at this time? Mm -hmm. We have forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. <clears throat> I want to pick another card. I'm just compelled to pick another card. What else does Leo need to know about love? Whether they're single or in a relationship. Doesn't really matter. Because it the same things can apply. We have put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. also have keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations <clears throat> we want to know what is the advice for leo for the week ending september 10th what is the advice for leo What is the advice for Leo? That flipped over my hand. Nine of Cups, a wish fulfillment. Something that you want to occur is going to manifest itself this week. Okay, what other advice do you have for Leo? Hmm. Four Pentacles. So this is about saving your money, um, not spending frivolously. Like, if someone asks you to borrow money, you're like, I don't have it, even though you do. Um, that way you will save your money, okay? That's like hoarding money. And what is the outcome for Leo? We got ancestors, honor and remembrance. So right now is meant for you to honor your ancestors. Maybe give your ancestors an offering. Yes. We have loyalty. Mm. See a fish. So this is about fertility. And um, if it's not someone being able to get pregnant, it's something that you're meant to create this week. Yes. It's, it's time to get in tune with spirit is what I'm seeing, Leo. Your ancestors are your guides, and you need to talk to your ancestors, known or unknown. All right? Known and unknown. Uh-oh. We also got Ten of Swords. All right? So there's a new beginning, something that needs to start anew. Maybe it's your energy. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's a job. There's a new beginning happening after a tumultuous time, right? So get in tune with spirit this week to figure out what's your best course of action. All right, we want to know the outcome of the week for Leo for the week ending September 10th. 
and we have twin flames. That's crazy. Soul partner, eternal connection. We're going to read from the book. It's number 16. It says, the radiant connection shown on this card reveal a potentially life-changing message for you. The appearance of a twin flame is on the horizon, and it's a directive of your karmic destiny that you reunite. Many people consider twin flames to be romantic connections, soulmates called back together from previous lives. This could indeed be the case for you, and this card may be announcing the homecoming of an abiding love. But there are many types of soul partners. They can take the form of loving parent and child, business partners, scientists working together on the same discovery, composer and lyricist, environmentalists with a common cause, or any other duo united in the intention to enhance the earthly experience of others. So don't be distracted by the similarity in appearance and the souls pictured here. This message is about a perfectly matching resonance that vibrates with mutual recognition and higher purpose. The tiger that stands between these twin flames represents great passion. This may manifest in a physical relationship or represent a project that is compelling to you. Be encouraged for the brilliant beam of light is pure spirit and you are being blessed and guided by divine consciousness. So get ready for a profound relationship, one of twin devotion to each other and to a higher cause. Affirmation. I am open to finding a deeper purpose in my life and to finding a soul partner who will share my higher intentions. Wow. Twin flames, Leo. Twin flames. So I hope this resonated. It is a, I take this as a relationship and somebody around you is not giving you good advice. Somebody's jealous of your relationship that's happening fast. And you need to make a choice. Remember, wish fulfillment is coming. After a tumultuous time, something good is on the horizon. Okay? Remember to pray to your ancestors. They will give you guidance. And I hope this reading resonated with my Leos. And I'll be back with Gemini for the next video. Make sure y'all check me out. I love y'all. I'll